What's up everyone, on this video we're going to see how to deploy ICE as a Redius server for Checkpoint. More precisely, uh, we want ICE to authenticate the administrators that will log on to a smart console to manage the security management server. So let's begin by creating a security management server object on ICE. So I'll go on administration, network, devices, and we want to add the security management server IP. So in my case, the name will be SMS, that's short for security management server, and the IP reachable uh, via ICE. So it's 81. I'm going to leave everything else default, and we're going to enable radius authentication settings. And here we're going to type the share sec secret that we will have to match on checkpoint or uh, smart console. That's going to be 65745. Okay, this is done and let's submit this change. Now we're going to create two users. One will be uh, the administrator and the, the other one will be uh, an admin with uh, restricted access or read only profile. So to do that, we go on administration, identity management, identities, and we're going to add two users. First one, we're going to name it Celesio, the passwords for this user. And it's going to be part of all accounts just uh, by default. So let's confirm everything's okay. Yes. Now we're going to add another one that's going to be value. So let's type the password. And it's going to be part of all accounts by default. Okay. We have both users in place. Now let's create the policy that's going to validate uh, these uh, these users. So let's go on policy set administration. Actually, that's policy policy set, and we're going to use the default policy set. So the authentication policy will be the default which means that the it's going to check the user's identity uh, on ICE database. As for authorization, we're going to add uh, one rule and let's name it authorization for checkpoint uh, administrators. And we're just going to use one condition here and that's if the user was authenticated just allowed access as authorized access so we're going to use this one and the authorization profile will be permit access so what is it permit access okay so here on ice we're not using um we are not creating many conditions on ice because we want to do this on smart console. All we want to validate is the username and the password that will be on ICE. So let's go on smart console and continue the configuration. So first we have to add is the object that's going to represent ICE. We're going to add a new host and we'll name it ICE. And we're going to type ICE IP address 4321. Going to press OK. And now we have to add uh, the Radius server that will be referencing the, the, the ICE object. So click on new, more, and that's going to be server and Radius. We're going to name it um, Radius Server and we'll select the host. Uh, it's going to be Ice 
and the share secret must match the one we typed on eyes uh, okay six five seven four five i'm going to leave everything else as default and so we have the objects uh, representing eyes we have radius server uh now let's publish these changes before uh creating uh the two accounts for the administrators okay it was published now let's go on manage and settings and we're going to add the first administrator and that's going to be solasium the authentication method will be radius the radius server will be radius server object and the permission profile we're going to assign super user and we're going to press ok we're going to add the second admin account that's going to be card value and the authentication method will be radius the objects will be radius server and the permission profile will be read only all and we're going to press ok and publish those changes now those changes were successfully saved now let's try to log in on another session on smart console and we can monitor these uh, so let's look at live logs on eyes um, now let's try to log in what is the other session okay so we use the new account the lesio let's type the password and we can see that it was successfully authenticated if i can hide this for now and we should see Silesio log here on eyes successfully authenticated okay and let's see which account is this one minimize this one you can see the admin Silesio and it is a super user so we want we can make changes we can delete things and we look at uh, the logs on eyes it was successfully uh, authenticated so now let's close this and try to log in as carvalho so carvalho should be able to log in but uh should have read only permission carvalho password and it was authenticated already so you should see the logs here on eyes as well and it was authenticated and it is hitting uh the policy we created so we can see that it's hitting the default authentication uh, authentication rule and then the authorization for checkpoint administrators and Carvalho shouldn't be able to make any changes we can see that to make uh, the options for changes are all grayed out so we can't delete or edit any of these objects we can look for more details on the logs on eyes so let's see let's bring this here we click on details and we can see the authentication policy the authorization policy the result and all the message exchanged between uh ice and checkpoint or the management server so that's it guys uh deploying eyes as a radio server for checkpoint i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you on the next one